listen, I made so many sacrifices. Y'all looking at the end. Y'all looking at the end results. Y'all not looking at the shit where y'all gonna look at the interview and Zab gonna tell y'all, you know, with me being champion, with me already having. <laughs> All right, Tank. Tank goes at Floyd Mayweather, man. Tank is a disloyal biatch, man. Bro, if it weren't for Floyd Mayweather, Tank, you wouldn't have shit, bro. Disloyal little punk, man. You know, I, I'm going to talk about this, but I just want to talk about how much of a biatch Tank is. First of all, he a groupie also because when Ron Garcia, first he gave Ron Garcia the wrong, a wrong number. But now since Ron Garcia run, now since Ron Garcia won a fight against Devin Haney, a fight that his B.A. was scared to take, now he's riding, Ron, now he rolled Ron Garcia nutsack. He rolled Ron Garcia's sack uh, the, the, the night that Ron won the fight. To my, let's go out, Ryan. Let's celebrate. Oh, D Rod and Chump. D Rod and Chump. Now, he dissing Floyd. He, he should never diss Floyd Mayweather. Publicly, anyway. Man, Floyd Mayweather, the, the reason you made 35 million, bro, or 50 million, or how many millions you made, it's because of Floyd, right? But anyway, now he dissing Floyd. Niggas say all this bull crap, but in Dubai and can't leave because he been taking niggas money and not doing what they pay him to do. Nig a freaking hater. <laughs> okay, let me interpret that. So Floyd is in Dubai. He probably got, my interpretation is Floyd, they got him stuck over there. Probably the mafia. The Dubai Mafia won't let him leave. All the authorities, whatever, won't let Floyd leave because Floyd been taking their money. You know, Floyd made a deal with some people over there. I don't know what type of deal he made. Maybe a promoting. I don't know what type of deal Floyd made over there. He made some type of deal, right? And Floyd is not delivering on his end. So it looks like they scam, they tricked Floyd to come over there. And now he can't leave. They tricked him. They probably baited him to come over there. Hey, Floyd, we got some money for you. Come over here. Uh, knowing all the while, Floyd been stealing the money because he's a, he's a uh, self-proclaimed bank robber, like he says, right? Such an idiot. I'm a bank robber. Who prides themselves on being a bank robber? You're a stupid ass, man. So he, he Floyd comes out, I'm a bank robber, yeah. That your stupidity, Floyd, is catching up with you. It's gonna catch up with you. Never proclaim yourself to be a uh, a criminal. And that's what Floyd proclaims himself to be a, a freaking criminal. He's an idiot. And his idiocy, his idiocracy, is going to pay him one day. It's going to pay him a, a huge amount of money. Billions, worth billions and trillions, his, his idiocracy going gonna, 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 to uh, pay him. The man is a self-proclaimed criminal. And proud of it. I'm a bank robber. I'm a bank robber. And see, now he done robbed somebody from what Tank claims. He looked like he done robbed somebody over there in Dubai. They baited him to come back over there, probably baited him with more money. Now that he over there, that's why he looking rough, no haircut, looking bad. And, uh, they baited him over there now from what Tank claims he can't leave because he owed them money. So they probably extorting him now, like, give me my money. They probably making him or telling him, give me my money back. You know what I'm saying? So this is what Tank is talking about. 
Nick say all this bull crap, but in Dubai and can't leave because he been taking Nick's money and not doing what they pay him to do. He a freaking hater. Wow, man. I mean, this dude, Floyd, needs to grow up. I mean, he just has a, Floyd has a personality. Uh, what would you call it? He has a personality disorder. You know, I, I think he has a personality disorder. He ain't he ha, he he's not balanced. If you notice, he don't really have you know the way he talks to people. I can understand why he wouldn't have a real friend. You know, he claims Ursher his friend, but I'm pretty sure he's very disrespectful to Ursher too, because he approaches everybody as a as 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 competition. He he seems to to look at everybody as as an opponent. You know, he been boxing so long since he was a baby, so it seems to me he view everyone as an opponent. And, and Floyd Senior had that personality too, had that abrasive personality. You know, he has to be the alpha and everything, and he has to chump you off. I mean, that seems to be to be the relationship with Floyd, he alpha, and he has to chump you off. He don't care if you're a bigger celebrity than him. He does it to all his friends. Seem like, like Ursher. I'm pretty sure he don't chump Ursher all plenty of times. Like he had a Instagram. He had a post on on Instagram challenging Ursher to all this type of stuff and that this and that. That's why him and Michael Jordan probably could never be friends because Michael Jordan probably got that same personality, and they bump heads tremendously. You know. But that's it, man. That's my take on it. Peace.